scary out there, especially if the snow is really coming down and it's yeah. dark out there. Just good reminder there. And I've been following a GPS once and turned and it was like, nope, that is not right. right. And that's just in like a city area or, you know, like a town. I can't, can't imagine. Can't always trust it. Can't mm -hmm. always. Well, hopefully you can trust your weather that <laughs> we have planned for you and your forecast here. Upper 40s right now. That's Shriners Children's Camera here in the Portland area. Light winds. The temperatures were mild today on the slightly warmer side, starting to cool down slowly tonight into the low 40s to low 50s along the coast and upper 40s to low 50s through the metro and valleys. It has been on the warmer than yesterday side. I've just seen a couple of changes till being the same and the Dow's being just a little cooler. This warmer than the day before, that's changing for us tomorrow. We made it to 48 yesterday and we made it to 52 today, which is above average. We are going to see several cool days in a row leading the rest of the week and into the weekend, taking our average, which has been about two degrees from normal, down to closer to what you would expect. The next couple days play out like this. Tonight, as you see here, not much cloud cover, if anything at all. A few showers here or there, a majority of the rain and anything that could be accumulated is to the south down toward Eugene. Here's tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. All of this clearing means that there's a chance for some valley fog. You do see a few clouds coming in and a few clouds there along the coast. Get into the afternoon and early evening. A shower chance does come through, some through the metro and some into the valley, and then that moves on maybe a shower or snow shower there or two up at the mountain, and then the clouds clear out. Going into Thursday morning, you'll notice all of this activity right here in the metro and into the valleys. That's that chance for the fog to be coming in and then clear skies around. If you're traveling, here's what you have. The Columbia Gorge and the Coast Range will be good bare roads, not expecting anything there. The Cascades and the Blue Mountains may be icy and snowy in a spot or two, but mainly bare roads. And then, of course, if you're going I-5, to Cali or up to the north, clear freeway, good driving weather, meaning a majority of our driving conditions, other than that icy spot or two, we have nice for you for traveling. Over the next three days, just one little spot, that afternoon chance I showed you, maybe a hundredth of an inch of accumulation, and that's it. Everything else is dry all the way through Thanksgiving and headed toward the weekend. If we add that hundredth of an inch to the total for the month so far, that puts us at just right a little more than an inch and a, or six inches and a quarter, which is already well above the average that we get for the month of November, which is just about five and a half inches. Seven day forecast has a cooling trend going into Friday where our daytime temperatures get into the mid 40s, which is several degrees below average. Then we do warm back up, but stay in that 40 degree range. Overnight temperatures give us some chilly mornings, maybe even our first frost. We'll keep you updated on that as we progress through the seven day forecast.